Hi guys, and welcome back to Morant's Rants. Plenty of good information, a little bit of motivation, a whole lot of truth, no financial advice. I got this sent to me here. Now this is a post from Superstock, and they're talking about the can kicking down the road from the CTFC. Now, does it, is it real? Is it really happening? Yes, absolutely. And this isn't regarding swaps. Now, I know a lot of people have done history on swaps, all this mumbo jumbo. I don't care to care about it too much. But I want to show you something that actually has Connect the Dots-esque uh, info. That's why I'm talking about it. So the, the, the post on Superstock tells you that they've been extended all the way till 2025. So right here, this is from a letter, September 25th, 2024. It says, I support the extension of the staff non-action, uh, blah, blah, blah. This person who wrote this right here, this is from like a normal person, wrote to the CFTC, the Commodities Future Trading Commission. They actually regulate all of the swaps. And there's almost like 200 to 400 trillion dollars worth of swaps out there. And is this how they're kicking the can down the road? Read what is said. It says, I urge the staff and commission to develop an issue um, in OCR proposed rulemaking soon. Now, the OCR is Ownership and Control Reports. They have to report it. They have to tell you what they're doing, and no one is. And I'll, t- I'll show you how, how you actually know that part. So this is, a, this is an endless can kicking down the road since 2014. But this is what the commission wrote in the statement last year. Now, this is one of the commissioners. Now, I looked up all the commissioners here. These are all the commissioners, these five people here. Summer, Caroline Pham, Christy Goldsmith, uh, Kristen Johnson, and then Rostin Biham, Bihanim, whatever his name is. I don't really care. Uh, but there's like, I'll give you an example. Caroline Pham, she, used, she still works for Citigroup. That's a problem for me. Used to work for the SEC, used to work for Sullivan and Cromwell. But now you still work for Citigroup, and yet you're making decisions on how those financial institutions report. Christy Goldsmith Romero. Also work for the SEC. There's a reason why I'm telling you this, okay? And I'm going to put it all together at the end. But I want you to see this, okay? This is the statement written by Summer Messenger and uh, Mer Mersinger. I think that's how you say her name. And uh, here's what she said regarding the, the extension and the staff no action position regarding ownership and controls reports. Reporting your swaps. This is what she says. She says, I support the extension. And why does she support the extension? From certain reporting obligations under the Commission Ownership and Controls Report final rules, no action relief is appropriate because various aspects of the OCR rules are unworkable or otherwise problematic in terms of implementation and compliance, meaning you can't change one rule without changing something else. They don't really have the plan set up yet. They haven't figured it all out. As I had previously said, when one of our rules needs to be fixed because it's unworkable, ambiguous, and sufficient corrective action by notice and comment, rulemaking in the gold standard because it allows the commissioner to hear stakeholders develop regulatory sol- solutions and provide certainty. Meaning, you, if you're going to change something, you got to change it all. That's what that means right there. And look what she says. She says, yet is it troubling that this relief is another instance of successful extensions of staff no action relief on issues that the commission has failed to address permanently. This is the 12th time during my tenure that the commission, no, the commissioner, that I have uh, commented and seamlessly endless staff no action relief and other band-aid workarounds undertaken when the commission avoids take, tacking difficult issues. So they're not going to tackle this difficult issue. They're not going to give you a way around it because they don't have a way around it. There's no workaround. They just keep signing extensions. I thought that the CFTC was established and, and implemented back in the 1970s, all the way through until now, through the Dodd-Frank Act, I thought because of the greater financial crisis that there was more oversight. There was more, hey, what's really happening, transparency with our markets. And that is not the case. This is the clear case that Commodities Futures Trading Commission is refusing to do the right thing when everyone's watching. They have zero integrity. And I've looked at everybody there. And look at this. I appreciate the rulemaking that could address these OCR issues on a permanent basis is including the commission uh, agency rule list published in spring of 2023. No. But I note that the target date settled. Yeah, there's no such thing. Not until March 2024. This is the seventh no action letter that will be issued regarding the OCR rules since they were adopted a decade ago. uh, This is the seventh no action letter. That means they're not taking action. They're, They're just pushing it kicking the can down the road. Under the circumstances, I urge that the staff and the commission to develop an issue an OCR proposed rulemaking soon so that the staff is not compelled to issue yet another extension when this one expires a year from now. And what did they do? They extended again. Guys, they're extended all the way till 25, right? But this is why. Like, you guys have to know the difference, okay? I'm going to give you guys, like, the red flag of it all. It's right here. 
The guy's name is Heath Tarbert. Heath Tarbert was the previous president and chair, right here, an American lawyer, former government officer who served as the 14th chairman of the CFTC, okay? Now, he was there from 2019 to 2021. How fitting that in 2021, when he left, okay, when he left, where do you guys think he went to get hired? Remember, we're talking about swaps, we're talking about derivatives, we're talking about it all. Why weren't they following up? Why are they signing extensions and pushing out? Because there's certain companies, certain companies like Citadel Securities that are hiring them to be their chief legal officer. He was a chief legal officer from April of 2021 all the way to June of 2023. Do you know why? Do you guys understand what's happening here? The same thing that happened when you see the movie The Big Short, right? They don't want to report these things. They don't want to go up against their own friends, their own buddies. Citadel in violation of the swaps? Maybe. Maybe, but Citadel's smart. Citadel hires the person that's actually doing the policing. That's what happened there. And I don't know what Heath gave them, and I don't know how it all worked out, but I do know of one financial firm who used to hire the head of the SEC when they would retire and, and all, at all ends, and that was Drexel Burnham Lambert. And you go do the homework on that financial institution, and you tell me how it all worked out. But I'm telling you right now, this is the missing piece. The fact that the CFTC can keep pushing it out kicking the can down the road, and then people like Citadel, who are the, the true villains of this market, what do they do? They go and hire the damn president of it all. Guys, keep watching. Now they're going to extend it again and again and again because they don't have an answer to the rules that are being changed. That's the truth. GameStop. Can't stop, won't stop. GameStop. Hey, what other swaps <laughs> were pushed out in 2021 to 2023 that you know about? AMC? How you guys doing out there? Mullen Automotive, how you been? I want to know. Don't you? GameStop. Can't stop, won't stop GameStop. I'll see you around, millionaires. Peace.